Okay, so what's about to happen, Nick? Um, so we're going to start mowing. We're going to attempt to get this whole thing going. Hang on a minute. The 2022 Dale Farm haymaking season is about to commence, is what you should have said. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so we've got the mower out. We've put it on the tractor. Um, our friend Will has given me a bit of advice on how to set it up and level it up and everything. So I've given that a go and we'll see. We need right. to get the PTO shaft on and then we just need to start. Yeah, and then we're going to get the PTO shaft on after once we found it. And I'm excited. And then, yeah, we're well, off we go. So if you're new to the channel, maybe you don't know that this is my and Nick's first haymaking season, doing it ourselves. Normally it would have been my dad that would have done the mowing and the turning and the rowing up and the baling and we would have just helped to collect the hay in. Um, but we are doing it ourselves. In order to prepare, we have watched some old videos of my dad haymaking and we've spoken to my uncle Peter um, and we feel that that is standing us in a, a fair place to get started with a few tips and ideas of what we should be doing, when we should be doing it and how we should be doing it. Uh, but I think the best way to learn is to do. So that's what we're doing. Nick is making a start and showing me what he's doing and then I've got off the tractor and I'm doing a walk around the edge of the field to check for any sticks or stones that could be close to the wall side so that when we go back around we don't hit them with the mower when we go and do the outer edge. And I think you can see um, it looks like a nice mix of uh, different grasses and flowers and things it looks it looks really nice and i'd say fairly decent uh, thickness the hay crop is going to vary every year we are what you might call uh, farming the traditional way maybe we we don't use fertilizer we just do muck spreading every other year and uh, so we're very much reliant on the weather for the growing conditions and we think that this year has been a better growing year uh, for the hay than last year certainly So far, I've done a little bit um, under Nick's supervision. Nick's doing some more. Um, so we're both kind of just getting a feel for it at the moment. And um, I think it's okay. Um, so you can probably see that it's very gloomy. It's not really the glorious make hay while the sun shines type weather that you would hope for, but I do think the forecast is supposed to get better after today. So um, th these are sort of two fields that we're doing today. And then we've got another one, two, three, four, maybe that we're gonna try and do tomorrow, maybe more. Um, and uh, so hopefully that'll mean the weather's gonna improve for, for the turning of the hay and the baling of the hay. Um, and main thing is that I need to get somebody lined up to bale because I haven't actually sorted that out yet. Uh, but all in all, finding uh, that the process of starting feels better than the, the waiting. Now that we've started, it feels like, yes, we're actually in action. I, I sort of likened it to the feeling of when you're gonna take a test or an exam, you kind of just want to, to start. And that bit before you can go is, is always quite tense and not always very enjoyable. So uh, we're, we're going for it now. So that is the first field nearly done. This is Nick getting started in the second field and coming up is going to be me driving the tractor and mower. Nick's going to film me, so stay tuned for that.
So this is the second field and it looks like quite a decent crop at this end of the field anyway, this side. Goes a bit thinner on the other side, but um, it looks good. I'm kind of pleased, I think, with the amount that there is. And just a bit more ragwort found, so I'm pulling it out as we go round. And uh, yeah, so far, okay. see I am smiling and very much uh, enjoying the process of learning something new and expanding my comfort zone this year has been uh, certainly a growth period for learning new skills and kind of having to figure things out um, without that lovely comforting guidance of having my dad around um, but I think that I'm proud of how me and Nick have both stepped up to the challenge ahead of us and uh, a few months ago couldn't have even contemplated the thought of having to do haymaking without dad um, and now here we are in July getting it done with smiles on our faces. So today was very much like the warm up, the test run, the starter for what is to come and um, I hope that you've enjoyed seeing what we have got up to and again thank you for all the positivity that you guys bring to my channel, we're both really really grateful for it so we appreciate that and we'll bring you the next instalment of our haymaking adventures very soon. Uh, so we'll leave you with this. <laughs> Thanks for watching, bye!